Yo, DoDaniels.com, and today we're on the Health Watch. Look at this. We have reports coming out of the UK, and this is not just the UK, my friends. This is all over the world, but cancer risk higher among people who eat more processed meat, a study finds and confirms. So we have a study here um, that actually uh, assists and uh, supports what people have been saying for years i myself haven't been eating processed meat um well actually i recently did have some uh, about three weeks ago uh, but you know i was set up but anyway the um the thing about processed meat um if you are familiar with uh, my main man dr joel wallach um throughout his lectures he goes around and he always tells people stay away from processed meats because of the uh, the nitrates and the sulfites and all that stuff that they process to keep it nice and clean for you is linked to heart problems, cancer, and all other things. So, me, I used to be a sandwich buff, go to the supermarket, and I would get the one that they actually slice for you. I'm not even sure if that's considered processed, but I, if it was prepackaged, I definitely don't leave it. I definitely leave it alone, and I would strongly recommend that uh, you also leave it alone because processed meat is linked to premature death it's gonna it's gonna eventually kill you you know um you got uh half a million people throughout 10 uh europe countries to study found consuming processed meat went along with other unhealthy lifestyle choices and this is what a lot of people don't understand is that when you are eating you know processed meat you're probably not conscious of a lot of other activities that you are doing uh that will aid to your um early demise or early health conflicts or whatever else so it's very important to realize that okay this is a headline this is a study it's clear and everybody and to me I, you know i'm not telling everybody to go vegan and and stuff like that but what i'm what i am saying is that meat to me is it, it's weird to eat meat it tastes very good I still eat it, I'm not, but it's still weird. I know when I'm eating it. I know I feel weird. It's weird because what I'm doing is I'm eating another dead animal's body. The animal is dead, so you, you know it's like you're putting death inside of you. Now, you know people say the same thing for fruits and vegetables. Well, once you pull that fruit and that vegetable from the vine, he's dead, but he's not decayed and dead like how the animal is it's kind of like the apple okay it still has its life while you've plucked it from the vine um there's a lot of science that goes in that i'm not trying to get into all that right now but what i am saying is that there are no studies out there that says eating organic or even inorganic apples will lead you to um an early death now this is a study that says cancer risk among people who eat more processed meat uh will get cancer risk and over here it says we'll have early uh, premature death and uh with all the you know headlines in the news about meat especially in the uk about adding horse meat to their burgers and all kind of stuff i mean i'm looking at this right here i'm gonna draw on it the uh sequester cuts uh, will impact food inspection so stuff like this is reasons why you do want to just stop eating any kind of processed meat and just leave that stuff alone i mean you know when i see people with their kids eating that stuff i mean this is just you know let's 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 get out of that let's get out of that let's get into more natural foods when you eat more natural foods you start to live a more natural life physically uh, mentally and um you know you start taking diets uh, taking rough things out of your diet and not just food diet. I'm talking about your mental diet, things you listen to, things you, you consume, things you read, you know, and all the, you know, the whole nine. And so this is mainly for people who are in that position that need to improve their overall life, starting with something as simple as, you know what, I go to the store, I'm not going to buy no more processed, prepackaged meat, sliced up, I don't care what it is because I already know it's already linked to cancer and premature death. Signing out here, Dude Daniels. Uh, go to longevityproducts.org to get some longevity products. Uh, um, this this stuff will help you uh, reduce cancer. If you've seen, um, don't know if I can pull it up on this site. Let me try. 
as long as you try, things will happen for you. You might miss miss some of this, but I'm going to just get that out of here. What we're going to do is we're going to go to uh, looking for a post that wrote, but I guess I didn't really write it. Anyway, this is about osteoporosis, but I was looking for a post that I wrote that was concerning um, a press release by the uh, by the by Longevity's products, and it showed that um, Longevity maybe it's here. Uh, give me a second. Give me a second. Here it is. The Mineral Man. Go to the Mineral Man that come. And once you opt into that, it'll show you that um, there's a press release that um, Clemson University just did to show that the Beyond Tangy Tangerine and the um, and the Ultimate Classic both showed that you can you can reduce can it reduce cancerous cells you know, up to like sixty seventy percent. It was a study, so they have to actually write this. Can, they actually can say reduces can you know cancer um, cells. So you can go to uh, the links below to get those links to read that. I mean, it's it's pretty um, pretty awesome stuff. And um, we'll see you next time. I've talked too long. Peace.